What's up, folks? First, let me thank each of you for the support. I've said several times that I'm not here fishing for likes, comments, and subs, but that doesn't mean I don't like, enjoy, or appreciate them, because I do. Communication, gotta have it, right? So huge thanks to those who do. Now, I'd just like a brief moment of your time to talk to you about this amazing 50p self-installing. Actually, I just want to ask a couple of quick questions. <laughs> First up, I'm currently featuring the Land Crystal series in a big way. Both a no commentary walkthrough for Warsong and a Let's Play for its Japanese counterpart are in progress. I did this to showcase the differences between both versions, as well as to be able to look back and see which format works best for this style of game, at the risk of being a bit redundant. Soon after, I'll post a Langrisser 2 Mega Drive playthrough. Now here's my question, would you prefer a walkthrough with commentary or gameplay only? I know everyone's different and you can't please everybody, and normally I decide what to do on my own here. The thing is, I've grown very fond of this series, and in a quick search of comparable videos, there doesn't seem to be a playthrough as thorough or well played as the one I'll be presenting. This is where you laugh at me if there is one and I just missed it. And I really want to do this one justice. I truly feel if it had been brought to the west as either Warsong 2 or left as Langris or 2, it would currently be considered one of the finest RPGs of the 16-bit era, and possibly even more popular than Shining Force 2. Moving forward, you'll see the focus of my channel generally centered around spotlighting and showcasing older games that deserve more play and acclaim than they received, imports included. So what say you to talking, yay or nay? For this specific game, I'm leaning towards no speaking, but as Captain Planet would say, the power is yours, sort of. Second question. What's your opinion on videos of older games recorded in 720 or 1080p? Does widescreen ruin their presentation? Depends on the game, maybe? I'll always present my videos in HD when possible, but I don't want to ruin a title's integrity unintentionally. More than likely, I'll decide on a case-by-case -case basis, but I'm genuinely curious what you folks think as well. And finally, I haven't forgotten about gaming masterpieces, I'm just reassessing what to feature. Also bringing back my let's try random games at some point, it's mostly a matter of defining a set schedule I can stick to. As far as Twitch goes, I'm still weighing that possibility, but in the meantime I should ask, is anyone even interested in watching me stream random imports and retros? <laughs> we'll see how it all goes. Remember, I am open to requests, but clearly biased towards Sega consoles. Thanks for watching and supporting, and hopefully, see you soon.